to begin as a Tibetan, thank all Kinnor Students Association, Laos PD Students Association, Zanskar Students Association, and the Regional Tibetan Youth Congress for collaborating this event. It's important that voices of youth is heard by not just India, but the international community. The world needs to know how we feel about the issue, the allegation that has been raised about His Holiness the 14th Dalai Lama. We all here because of our shared reverence, love and respect for His Holiness the Dalai Lama. But more importantly, we are here because we have known His Holiness the Dalai Lama, we have been following his teachings, we know that he is a man of honor, we know that he just does not give a teaching, but practice what he preaches. He's a man of compassion, a man who's able to spread the message of love and peace to the world. Of religious harmony, of altruism, something that the world needs right now. And what is happening to such a great human being at the moment? Let me tell you something as a Tibetan. The Chinese Communist Party, with its military might, has been suppressing the Tibetans, making sure that the Tibetans don't feel the same level of reverence towards his sons of Dalai Lama. But they failed. And today, with their propaganda, they are trying to mislead the Himalayan people and the international community against his sons of Dalai Lama. But they have failed again because we are here. We are here to support His Holiness the Dalai Lama. We are here to let the international community know that they are wrong. So please, I think we must know, we must know the root of this issue. The expansionist policy, the expansionist strategy of China's Communist Party isn't limited to occupying land, but it's about occupying our mind. One great person the Chinese Communist Party is scared of is His Holiness the 14th Dalai Lama and they are doing everything in their power to malign him, to disgrace him. So this is the root of the situation that His Holiness the 14th Dalai Lama and the Buddhism is today. Let me tell you something. Xi Jinping, the leader of the Chinese Communist Party, he has emphasized several times that the three secret weapon of Chinese Communist Party is its armed forces, its party building, and the United Front work. What is that United Front work? It is an office that works on the propaganda of Chinese Communist Party. With our Juan at the border, including the Special Frontier Force of Tibetans, securing the sovereignty of India, we are able to guard India. However, how are we able to guard the propaganda of Chinese Communist Party walking around the free world, including India, where their malicious attack has been coming on His Holiness the 14th Dalai Lama? So, there are people saying it's a religious issue. No, it's a political issue. Because for Chinese Communist Party, His Holiness the 14th Dalai Lama, our Rukulu, our Tare Lama, is a political entity. So we must know of the reality. Let me just flash back. The event that took place on 28th February was a public event in front of more than 120 children, their parents. His Holiness is giving his gyan and his uh, messages on making sure that the world have more leaders following the message of love and not hatred. And what happens after five weeks? A Chinese Communist Party's agent on Twitter and other social media cut and paste a video to attack his own supporting the Dalai Lama. And that propaganda video is picked up by selected media. And that includes media and in India as well, which is very disheartening as a Tibetan for me. So we must know the reach. So again, the expansionist strategy of Chinese Communist Party isn't limited to attacking India on border or beyond that. 
Right now, the attack has happened at the heart of India, at the heart of Buddhism, and that is his holy support in Dalai Lama, and we must get that. I want to say something, that today is such a sad time. Today, where everyone's just worn a, a instant uh, gravity and scandal virus news. This is a time like that. Such a time when they forget that 87 year old celebrate Buddhist simple monk, a Buddhist leader, that is called the 14th Dalai Lama. And the sort of word they're accusing against him. Does it make sense to anyone? They are accusing a celibate of such a malicious attack, calling him an abuser. Does it make sense to anyone? And they're talking about, I know that everyone's concerned about child abuse, women abuse, I know that. It's an important issue that if I'm concerned about, I speak very heavily again. However, the small boy and his mother have spoken about that. And the boy said he feels positive. That's the word that he has used. The mother said she feels blessed with the meeting that they, that they have had. I would say that a woman and a child recognizes a perpetrator. And how dare, how dare these people accuse his foreigners the Dalai Lama or something like that. And how sad that on social media there are people falling for such accusation. Have they done any research about his own supporting Dalai Lama and the work, extensive work that he's done and what he means? <coughs> Not just to Tibetan, but to the entire Himalayan regions. What he means to us, do they know that? So please, let me repeat it again. It is a political issue. And Chinese Communist Party has repeated that they do anything in their power to make sure that his holiness is disgraced at every day and stage. So how do we counter that? So we must know it. Tibetan expression, Himalayan expression of emotion and our manners and our affection is completely diverted into a single narrative. It's completely controlled. And our narrative of culture, our social influences are in our custom. On the gender and sexuality has been completely displaced by what the others believe in. So all I want to say is the world, especially India, must not forget where COVID came from. India must not forget what happened at Gilwan. We must not forget what happened at Klokland. And this is something the Chinese Communist Party will continue to do. So, I want to say it again. This is the propaganda the Chinese Communist Party has come up with. And it is trying to completely entangle the world. Make sure to disgrace his own supporting Dalai Lama. And ensure the soft power of Chinese Communist Party. So please, when we are trying to come out in the community, make sure that we explain the real reason behind what has happened. And to the community, and also my sisters and brothers from Himalayan regions, I want to tell you that we as a community who is so concerned about the child abuse, about women abuse, what about more than 10 lakhs of Tibetan children forcefully sent to Chinese boarding school, trying to make sure that our way of life, our way of culture, and our way of livelihood is completely erased and turn them into one of their puppets. And I would say that is dangerous. So why we send out a message to the world that the way Chinese Communist Party and their agents and the puppets are disgracing his all support in the Dalai Lama, we object to that, we stand against that, and we stand against any form of other malicious activity the Chinese Communist Party come up with. So please, Make sure we stay active. Just check on Twitter what is happening against, what they are writing against his own support in the Dalai Lama. Give them a glimpse of what actually happened during the event and what his own support in the Dalai Lama means to each one of us. So thank you for coming here. Please make sure you use your social media because Chinese Communist Party is doing just that. They're using social media to speak against, to spread 
false narrative against His Holiness the 14th Dalai Lama, and there's a false narrator. We must put forward our voices. So please, all I want to say is, let's continue. Let's just don't make it one event. We have to continue making it a strong social event. It, it might not happen right now. We might don't have to meet on the same ground. But we all can meet on social media, making sure the message is spread. We are the youth of this country who can use social media for something positive for his one of 14 Dalai Lama. So thank you so much, everyone, for coming here. Thank you. Long live! Long live.